What's up everybody, Mike from Dead Breaking here. Today I'm gonna go over my top 10 Lego Star Wars sets that should be retiring at the end of 2022 that I really like. I'm investing all of them except one and I'll explain to you why when you see that one. And I have a few notable mentions. And I have four factors when I was figuring these out and labeling them from 10 down to one. One of the factors is what's the highest that it sold for on Amazon ever? What is the average that it's selling on Amazon? Because eBay can be scattered about, Amazon can at least give us an idea. eBay will kind of follow behind, but it'd be similar. Also, I looked at minifigure selection. Some of these sets have really good minifigures and they're selling really well on BrickLink. So I'm gonna show you that. And my fourth one is my gut feeling. We all got our gut feelings. Anyway, let's get to the list. So I'll start with some notable mentions. The first set of five that I have here is the Scout Trooper helmet. I think that one will do well. The, the helmets are probably going to do well overall, some better than others. Duel on Mandalore, you, that's the cheapest set you can get the new Ahsoka figure in. Plus it's got that Darth Maul that's exclusive to that one. It's in a foil pack, but we don't get that in America, so I don't count that. The Armored Assault Tank comes with that 332nd Trooper. That is what people are going to really want out of that one. The Imperial Marauder comes with that Mortar Trooper that I think could help push that set a little bit and grief cargo if you want to count him and then the 501st legion clone troopers obviously that's overly hoarded but i think should still do pretty good but may take some time so before i get started i wanted to mention two star wars discrepancies that i noticed between brick set and brick fanatics now all my top 10 are on brick fanatics and on brick set they do show that they will be retiring at the end of 2022 one thing i did notice is brick fanatics has the clone trooper battle pack here listed to retire but you can see here that brick set does not they have it as to be a Else. just something to pay attention to now maybe they will update that i don't know i would i would err on the side that it is retiring but then i wouldn't be shocked if they kept it a little longer to have a new one with it who knows on the flip side brick fanatics does not have the razor crest retiring but brick set does have an end date of december 31st 2022 just something to keep an eye out on it's been out for a couple years amazon exclusive this set should do well once it retires but i wanted to point that out for you because they do not line up on each of the sites like all the rest of the sets do like Let's go. 75252, the $700 one. I think the set will do really good once it retires. This is the one and only one that I'm not investing in personally because that's just a little bit much for me. I don't feel like dealing with it, nor do I have the storage space, but you may have that. So here you can look on Camel, Camel, Camel at some data. It's already sold as high as $1,100 and it's averaging about $915. So that's $200 basically over retail that it averages on Amazon, which is really good. Now I wanted to point out the minifigures. This Imperial crew member is going for like $51 in the last six months on Bricklink, whereas the officer is going for like $10, but just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, for number nine, I got 75321, the Razor Crest Micro Fighter. And I picked this one because it's fairly inexpensive. So if you're newer to this, sometimes you may want to get your feet wet with some smaller sets, you know, not go all in. But this set is a $10 set, but you can easily get it for $8 pretty much anywhere at this point. And if you've done any research, Micro Fighters do really well. They're small and they triple in price. I think this set's going to easily easily get to 30 to 40 dollars you know in the next year or two but it is the first razor crest micro fighter i think it'll do really well and knowing that there's a boba fett one coming out i see people wanting both of those together okay coming in at number eight i have 75315 the imperial light cruiser i really like this set you know if you look at star destroyers light cruisers any ships like that do well over time you got the the clone war sets now this one's a little different but it is Mandalorian. I think it will do really well. Now, the exclusive figures have kind of diminished on this set. You know, Cara Dune, Mando are out there, Grogu, even the Dark Trooper now, where it was doing well. But you still got Moff Gideon, who's exclusive to this set. And then you got Fennec Shan, who was exclusive. Now she's in the Justifier. But let's take a look at those sets. Now, there's not really any data on Amazon right now for it. It's been at the full retail. But you can definitely get this set every once in a while for about 130 at 20% off, which is, you know, ideal. Here, Moff Gideon has been selling for about $20 on average over the last six months, which to me is, is pretty good for that character. What was definitely shocking is seeing how well the Phoenix Shand is doing. It's doing the best out of all of them, going for about $32 over the last six months now. Now, the fact that it came out with a Justifier and it's the same character, but also has the hair piece, it may diminish the value a little, but I don't think it would be too much. But I wanted to point out that, you know, $50 right there is in minifigures. People are going to want these characters. Okay, coming in at number seven, I have 75302, the Imperial Shuttle. I really like this set, but it's a little smaller one. But the Imperial shuttles usually do really well. 
And, you know, in my opinion, any set that comes with Darth Vader is going to sell well once it retires. Now, Darth Vader and the Officer are unique to this set. Luke's been in like five sets. And if we take a look over here at Camel, 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 it's going for $70, but you can get it for about $58 fairly often, somewhere in that range. But I wanted to point out, you know, it's whole, it's sold as high as $160, averaging about $93 on Amazon. So it's done well over its life and it's still selling above retail on Amazon, which is really cool. Just to point out, you got that Darth Vader going for about $16 in this set, which is helpful. Okay, coming in at number six, I debated on this one, but 40558, the Clone Trooper Command Station. If you are not aware of this set, it just came out at the beginning of the year, slated to retire in December, and it's never in stock. This is a Lego exclusive. You're not going to find it at Walmart, Target, Amazon, Kohl's, Best Buy. It doesn't matter. You're not going to find it there. There's no data on Amazon right now. Now, when I have seen it on Amazon, it's usually, I think, going between 45 to maybe $60. So it's easily going for triple to maybe quadruple the price. And once it's gone, and if it has a short lifespan of literally a year, this set's going to probably easily sell between 45, 60, you know, maybe up to 70 after that, I would think. And, it, and it'll probably do that right after it retires because it's already been doing that. Just wanted to point this one out there because if you can amass any of them, more power to you. I don't have many, but I'm holding on to them because they're going to do well. Okay, heading into our top five. At number five, I have 75277, the Boba Fett helmet. This set's been out for a minute. It is from that first wave, but I still think it's going to do really well. People love Boba Fett. And now that he's got a show, it just makes it all that more desirable. Now, it may take a little longer to get it up to a good amount. It may take a couple years, but it's still going to be sought after long after it has retired. So here, just to give you a little data, you can get it for $52 right now, which is full retail is $60. You know, many times you've been able to get it for about $48. And then if you're stacking any discounts, but I just want to show you some numbers. It's sold as high as about $155 before. It's averaging about $93 throughout its life. Now, obviously it's less lately because there's just been more supply. I think it still is a winner and should do well once it retires. Okay, coming in at number four, I have one of my favorites, 75319, the Armorer's Mandalorian Forge. This is a great set. It is a Target exclusive, so you're only getting it at Lego and Target. It's a $30 set. They've had it on sale a handful of times at Target for like $24, and I'll try to scoop some up, but I really like this set. Now, two of the figures are exclusive to this. You got the Armor and Paz Vizsla. Mando has been in some other sets, but let's look at some numbers real quick. So on Camel, 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 it's going for about $41, which is $10 above retail. Obviously, there's no Amazon data because it's exclusive to Target, but it's sold as high as $75, averaging about $41, which is pretty good to me. And I mean, I just think once it retires, it definitely should double in price. If not, maybe a little more, give it a year or two. Here on Bricklink, though, you can look up the characters. I think Mando's going for about eight, nine dollars. The armorer is going for almost twelve dollars over the last six months, and right now they're trying to push it for about eighteen, which is encouraging. And then Paz Vizsla is going for you know fourteen fifty over the last six months, and they're trying to push it closer to twenty right now. I point this set out. I love this set. Mandalorian is hot. I see it staying hot. They got the new season coming out. Paz Vizsla, the armorer, probably will be back in it again. People are going to want these characters. They're high on Mandalorian, and there's just going to be people like me that want all of them. They want the collection of all of the Mandalorians. Okay, coming in at number three, my favorite probably out of these. This set is a Walmart exclusive. So obviously you're only getting it at Walmart or Lego.com. And it comes with Darth Vader, General Veers. Veers is unique to this one. And the Darth Vader is not, but there's only one other set that it comes in. That's been dual. So it's not like it's going to be easy to get that Darth Vader. You know, you're better off getting it here. One thing about this set is it is never on sale. I've looked so many times at Walmart. I was able to get a few of them last year for about 50, but it's just never on sale, which is going to help increase the price if you're willing to invest in it once it retires. Okay, so you can see over here on Camel, Camel, Camel that it's going for just under $90. And I mean, it's sold as high as about 100 and the average is about 90. So that's impressive to see that it consistently sells higher on Amazon than it does at retail. And I don't really feel like there's really been any stock issues since this came out. So that's good to know. Now, Veers is exclusive to this set, but it's going for like $8. But here's the Darth Vader. Like I said, it's only investment dual and then this set. And it's going for, you know, just under $25. And right now they're trying to sell it for double that, you know, almost at $45, which is really cool. Okay, now coming in at number two, I have 75316, the Mandalorian Starfighter. You know, one thing I'll say is when I was choosing these sets, I'm also looking at the lifetime. You know, this one came out in August 1st of 2021. So if it's been out less time, obviously that's less time that you have. 
have to invest in it. You know, this set's been out for a while. It was hard for me to put it to number two, and I'll explain to you why in a minute. But again, these are my opinions. You can kind of finagle these top few. I think the top four could all be however you want them to be. I really like all of the sets. But this one, it's the minifigures, and it's the Mandalorian and how well the Mandalorian is doing. It's going to make this set very desirable well after it's gone. You can see it sold as high as $100, and it's been averaging about $63 to $64 over its lifetime, which is a few dollars over retail, but it's been on sale pretty much its whole life after it was released. What's really cool is to see how well the minifigures are selling. The Mandalorian Laurelist has sold just shy under $20 for the last six months, and right now it's going on $29, which is pretty good. Then you got Gar Saxon, you know, a little under $25 over the last six months, going for a little over $31 right now. And last, we got Bo Katan going for $31, and they're pushing it around $41 right now on Bricklink. So just between the characters, you're getting your money back. And I think, like I stated with the Forge, people are going to want all the Mandalorian figures. Okay, are we ready for number one? Now, this was one that I went around and round on because it's not an exclusive and it's hard to put a set over the exclusive, but here you go. Now, if you didn't already guess it, it's 75314, the Bad Batch Attack Shuttle. I love this ship. The Bad Batch show has done really well. They got another season coming out. Now, does that mean they'll have new sets and will they have the same exact characters or hopefully they tweak them a little, which you don't know if that's going to happen or not, or would they have a couple small ones and have them in there i don't know but currently this is where we have them all five of them are unique to this set i'm not going to count the gonk droid and now hunter is also in the justifier but he's still selling pretty well but let's look at some data real quick the one thing about some of these is their lifespan has not been very long which is good this one retailed for a hundred dollars and there's been a handful of times where you can get it at 20 percent off and then obviously if you can stack some discounts there you go but i wanted to show you here obviously in the beginning it's sold for 211 dollars and it's averaged 125 dollars on amazon that's 25 dollars above of the retail. Now, obviously, there's not really been any stock issues, so it's been pretty flat at that retail price for quite a while, but I definitely see this set doing really good once it retires. Now, obviously, what sells these sets is the minifigures, and this one has a great minifigure selection. They're all doing really good on Bricklink. You can basically make all your money back with these figures. Now, Hunter may be diminished a little bit now that he's in the justifier, but right now he's gone for almost $16 in the last six months. You can see that the price has dropped about a dollar probably due to the new set his buddies are doing okay this is the weakest one which is tech which i'm actually kind of shocked because tech's a really cool character but he went for about 11 dollars over the last six months and right now he's going for close to 15 so that's cool and we got crosshair going for about 12 dollars the last six months and going for about 13 right now you got wrecker over here pushing 21 dollars which is really impressive and then last you got echo here going for 20 dollars over the last six months i'm actually shocked to see that he's currently going for a couple dollars less but whatever and there you have my my top 10 lego star wars sets retiring in 2022 i really like these sets i'm like i said i'm investing in all of them except that star destroyer it's just too much for me but doesn't mean that you can't get it i think it will do really well once it retires but shipping and all that stuff i just don't want to deal with that i want to give a special shout out to everybody that has subscribed to me i've finally made it over a thousand i thank you so much it's very humbling very cool also if you like a little entertainment aside from the information feel free to check out my youtube shorts i'm also on instagram and tiktok i post on all of them it's just me kind of cutting up and having a little fun also i have affiliate links directly with lego.com if you use them in the description below it'll take you right to lego.com and it gives me a small kickback if you purchase anything i would truly appreciate it helps me with my channel helps me grow helps me provide more content to you it would be much appreciated as always thank you so much for watching i really enjoyed making this video make sure you smash that like button subscribe to my channel and if you haven't already watched my video of five sets no one's discussing mike with deborah i'm out